All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two of Minecraft Story Mode Season Two, Part One. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? Start episode two. Let's see what's gonna happen. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. No, I don't say. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Crap, I forgot it. It's this guy now. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. What does it want? A uh, admin? Is it? What is that thing? I am beyond scared right now. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come. Speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Yeah. Man, have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet Para? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, here's the thing, everyone. He's calling me the Gauntlet Bearer because of this, uh, <clears throat> gauntlet that I found. It won't come off, and I guess that makes me like his chosen one or something. Okay, so an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm going to try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Weatherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. 
You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Champion, unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk. Let's fight. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha. Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. What? Ooh, he's powerful. Oh, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> So how do I beat it? Not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger. Like, uh, like the structure block. Buy me time. I'm going to plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of this butter! I could pick my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> Fire! Fire! Clever distraction, Jesse. The... Where's the structure block? Ha uh ha. -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. No! Oh. Ah, move! Okay, this is a little intense. But I guess the giant colossus did follow me home. Oh. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. Well, look at Champion you. should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. Soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Yeah, they did. Ah! Ah, there we are. All right, Admin. You want to fight? You got one. 
Here I am. <laughs> Hey, rock face! Eat this! Lucas! Good to see you too. Yep. Yes. What is that? Quick version? The admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Am now. Man, I missed you. Aw, you're just saying that because I pulled you from the literal jaws of doom. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't out. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Yeah, be careful, bro. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. All right, girl. Let's see what you got. Hey! Not in there. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. Done that, admin. Yeah, you wish. Oh boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark. Really something. Yeah. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, those are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it?
still works. Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? I don't know. If we destroyed that huge thing and he's still alive, that's kind of scary. I don't know how much more Beacon Town can take. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. It got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. Feels... pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Oh! So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? Yeah. I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. Nice. And that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Again?
idea what I'm doing by the way, so just go with it, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, I got a better idea now. How about I put the back one in and Gotta be kidding me, not okay. Um, I can think of a new idea It's actually pretty hard. Never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. And where is that away? Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they. All just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. <laughs> no? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has 
been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be sure of. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Uh, theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar, but you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. But we haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Oh, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait. You're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. God, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it! Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or... incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm going to get that clock. And then, you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Strays, pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ugh. We need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. And now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh, man. Proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone. We've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise. I will come back. Hmm. Mm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Mm -hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. Block this up after we leave, would ya? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. everybody thank you for watching this video and I, we appreciate all the support you've given us and please check out our uh, playlist and yeah, the next video patreon page and random video i don't know what it's random so go go with it and also please like and comment and subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel of course not subscribe to the video right and that's